7.30 in St. Louis. Welcome back to the ITDRoll.com. Morning after on 590 The Fan, KFNS and KFNS.com. Timothy Michael McKernan, uh, Charlie Marlowe in for The Cat, who will be back tomorrow from Cincinnati, and Douglas Elvin Vaughn. Uh, there's Timberfake outside the studio. I believe he's wearing a St. Louis Stallions cap, uh, Doug. That's he rare. is in here uh, for the uh, big contract signing. Uh, and then we continue to ask him to come in. He's just out there staring at us, though, and I don't know what the I hell. I think he wants to make a dramatic entrance of sorts. I don't know. If, is there? Sometimes he wants to, to walk into the studio or any event that we host with the Oak Ridge Boys, Elvira. Sure he does. Yeah. Well, Why wouldn't you? Well, you should you should let him for this occasion. Uh, Stepman, I don't know if you have that at your. If you, I don't know if that's what we're waiting on. I'm not sure what's. I'm, I'll be honest with you. I'm not sure what the hell is going on right now. No. Can you hear out there? Does he know that it's <laughs> his turn to come in? This is like the family feud. Where we're in like an isolated box. Oh, and yeah. Here's it's Elvira. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the challenger, April 27th at PT's and Sage. Tickets on sale right now for $20. That's too expensive. I ain't going. Fine, don't go. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Timberfake. Listen oh, to this crowd. Timberfake. All right. Oh, there actually is a crowd. Uh, Timberfake talking on the microphone. I noticed you brought in some talking points. It reminds me of the Ricky Ankiel press conference yeah. in 2001. It's too early, uh, it's too early for this. Anymore. You can That's move the mic, mic up. The, the magic sure of the AM is. radio. Yeah, right. There you go. Uh, oh, Doug, mic, it actually yeah. does. Oh, work. The mic is placid. Yep. Yeah. Lift up. Pull it up there a little God, bit. There. There. Yeah, I want you just the tip. Perfect. We're off to a good start. <laughs> uh, Timberfake, uh, welcome. You are, uh, you are fast approaching here. Uh, the bout... Uh, Doug, as you know, yeah. we are uh, 16 days away from this oh, thing. Oh, sure. And, uh, and I know you are training aggressively. Uh, how are things going for you? It's going great, man. Jose, Jose's getting me ready at sweat. That's Jose Cruz. Jose Ponce. Yep. Jose Ponce. Who was yeah. on the undercard of the Devin Alexander yeah. bout a couple was months he really? ago. Yep. So he's a legitimate pro. Yeah, he's a pro. He um, trained Ryan Coyne. So he knows the Irish, Irish outlaw. outlaw. Irish outlaw, yeah. Can we see your boxing stance, no, your position? I can't. No, you don't, don't want to give anything away. No, that would that would give us. A, we have a feeling we know what it's going to look yeah, like. Yeah, man, I don't. Let's see it on the twenty four seven thing, man. Is that or a St. Louis Stallions that. cap? Yeah, got to rock the old school, man. Number one play baby style. <laughs> How did you get that? I got it like that, man. Vintage, I'm vintage. Okay. Doug, are you vintage at all? I'm not You're vintage. wearing a polo from '88. No. It looks yeah. like <laughs> that's a heck of a sweater. Who are the St. Louis Stallions? Uh, they they're the Jacksonville Jaguars. That actually. was going to be our expansion football oh. team that went to Jacksonville instead. I yeah. like it. Yeah. So uh, I noticed you brought in some talking points. Uh, do you, do you, do you want to make an address? Is like a manifesto? What do we have oh, here? Man, make sure you're you talking know. into the mic. That's, what are you reading? that's <laughs> rock Dad. hard and upright. <laughs> Oh, man, it's, it is what it is. But that makes no sense. You have a piece of paper. Oh yeah, with yeah. This, that, this that, is from my work notes too, man. It's not just for here. So why'd you bring them? But in? But right now you're on live <laughs> radio, and you've decided now is the time to start reading about your workout. Put that paper down. Uh, I got to turn my phone. So how many hours a day are you training? Um, I'm working out every day, man. Working out every day. So three, four hours? <laughs> two? Um, about two. Then two I'm hours a day running. for training. Well, just by myself, and then I got a personal trainer personal trainer twice a week and then i'm with jose three times a week so what would, have you put on some weight are you bulking up yeah this, man this tilt? I, I was i mean back in the day you know i was probably about one i don't even know 40. 138 yeah I'm, I'm 150 i'm on about, about like 155 now somewhere on that you're 155 yeah close to 155 150 yeah 152 was official you you, you know? uh you actually outweigh producer joe now yeah. how about this there was talk that you might experiment with steroids for this fight Any no man that? not not me man that that's joe with pretty boy paul park <laughs> joe you're saying joe is actually the one that's just is... that's just what i heard now i I, I have it from somebody who listens to this program who emailed me and said they were with you at a cocktail lounge over the weekend and said you were asking him whether or not you should get on steroids for the fight. And he just texted me uh, about it. He said he'll call in oh, and talk right? about it uh, if no, you want man. to. That's so I don't, I, don't, I, don't I don't drink, man. Uh, what? You don't I drink been steroids? Drinking. No, man. I, mean, I wasn't at no cocktail lounge. Man. There's a picture with this girl. Uh oh, hold on a second. Here comes Joe. Now, what are you saying here? Well, I mean, we realize that Chris Holsey has a problem with telling the truth. And so the fact that he's holding on to a beer at a bar on Sunday night, are we going to deny those claims? Uh, I know you weren't able to hear producer Joe there at Timber Fake, but he says there was a picture of you with a beer uh, at on, taken on Sunday night. Was that just, just happened to be in front of you while you were enjoying a uh, that could Shirley be Temple? From any night, man. So you're saying the timing is misrepresentative. You That's were not right. at a cocktail lounge on no, Sunday. Sir. Would you swear on uh, Ch Charlie's uh, left 
ass cheek. Please, no, man, I've been please watching, don't. I've been watching a lot of No Retreat, No Surrender on Bloodsport, man. That's Frank Dukes? Yep, that's Frank what Mayweather Dukes. usually does. Um, so what? now that you're in this position, uh, you, you want to make it crystal clear to the listeners that you are not taking performance-enhancing drugs. Oh, man, test me. I'll take a pee test. Can we at uh, least we'll ask if you <laughs> asked our good buddy, the downtown Whitey's window sneezer, who just texted me and said, if you deny this, he will come on the radio to to fight that. I'm not, I'm not fighting anybody but Joe, and I ain't no, talking. I no, I'm talking <laughs> oh, verbally. No, I'm, I'm not talking to any callers either, man. Did you, I mean, at least, you, will, you will not be taking calls today. No, I plead the fifth on that. No taking calls. Man. Doug, is that all right with you? <laughs> I guess. Well, what kind of athletic background do you have? What sport? Um, Stop reading. I played, I, played, of, I played soccer in high school. I played basketball. I played baseball. Everybody makes a team. And what high school were you at? He's DB Bishop proud. Bishop um, my brother, my brother, he went fifty-one and zero in state wrestling. You know, I got so I've trained with him before. So that's a real deal. Yeah. So I'm gonna be ready, man. Be ready to go to war. Ready to thump. Is this a right five-round uh, bout again? Uh, Charlie, it's a great question. Five two-minute rounds, uh, and that'll be April twenty-seventh at PTs and Sage. Tickets on sale already. Twenty bucks a pop, uh, and there is of course an undercard. Of uh, Foxy Boxing. Doug, you like that Foxy Boxing. Uh, well, I, it's probably going to be better than the fight that we'll see. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> too. Well, there was that fighter, Instant Lesbian, who was just oh. something else. She was unbelievable. She, she looks like a... Uh, one of the uh, the weight li- the female weightlifters from like the Russian bloc years, the, the, <laughs> from the Soviet she years was, of the Olympics. She was destroying her opponent. And then a half hour later, she's out on the floor giving lap dances. You don't see that in a lot of That's fights. That's versatility. No, you don't. As so, I understand this fight, though, it's a loser leaves town match. Well, Joe says if he gets knocked out, he will. Uh, he will he, leave. He, he won't be able to handle it. I'm I'm the pride of St. Louis, anyways. He's from Georgia. <laughs> I'm the pride of South Side. I'm the pride of South. Just St. Louis in general. Dan McLaughlin, my main man Dan McLaughlin's even rooting for me, you know? Dan McLaughlin's rooting for you? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't ask him about that. that. That's Dan McLaughlin. Some nice yeah. endorsement to pick up. <laughs> so so what uh what weight do you want to be at when you fight? Um, probably about one fifty. So you got some weight to to lose here before. Yeah, I mean I've been eating good and stuff and I actually got What have you been eating? Give me an idea what you've been eating. Just protein shakes. Um I'm on the animal pack from uh from Supplement Superstore. Oh, I've read. Um, just a lot of protein. Tuna fish, chicken, chicken breast. Very nice. Protein bars. Now, you realize that most St. Louisans, despite the fact that I think universally people would agree you are the pride of St. Louis outside mm-hmm. of the World Series MVP, that they, 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 they don't expect you to win this thing. Hey, it is what it is, you know. I mean, they'll see. They're in for a rude awakening, though. I've heard from your trainer that, that, that some of the sessions have been a little rough. You posted a picture last night that uh, that showed you got bloodied. Yeah, yeah, I got roughed up good, but that's good inspiring, man. I mean, I, I thumped them right back, though. Did you? Yeah. Jose's no joke. Nah. Well, I, I was in there with somebody else, too, dude named Casey from... <laughs> it was a two-on-one two sparring no, session. No, man, it wasn't. No, no, no WWE. Handicap man. <laughs> no, I, I have a question, Tim. Do you mind? No, of course. Gotta try. Yeah, try. When I was watching the uh, the video... That you posted, which I like very well done. Yeah, that was done that My was whole thing Boyd is and what I what I noticed by it was Joe Joe in the video seems to really hate you. He was mean. He was swearing, saying he wants to kill you, end your life, stop your breath, blah blah blah. You seem kind of more subdued. I'm just wondering, like Joe's gonna come in there, I think, really, really wanting to murder you. Are, I mean, yeah. do you feel the same way? I mean, because um, I think it's gonna be an emotional fight. Yeah, man, I'm gonna welcome him to the murder show too. You know, it is. Right. Mm. <laughs> Two men will die in the <laughs> radio. <laughs> It could be no, like that first Joe, Rocky, they both fall down. That's the second Rocky. Like, oh, that, that's he he doesn't bother me. He's in the other room, you know. Like, right now, in my mind, I could be out in Arizona, Arizona riding my motorcycle, you know. I, I could just put my pl- put Doug, what does that mean? Place. I don't know. Why would you go to Arizona right I'm now? I'm just saying I could put, put my mind. I could, I could go there. I could go where, wherever I want in my mind, you know. Huh. I wouldn't mind doing that. Yeah. yeah. Petrino rode a motorcycle, I though. I got him in trouble. Something, something oh, what is this? Some Look at this. boxing outfit that I'm wearing to the ring besides my... Sexy Prince Nassim trunks. Have you seen those? No. We have to look at the your leopard trunks. Leopard print? No, this, this is. You have leopard? You're wearing leopard print trunks? <laughs> no, this. Charles Manson. <laughs> Picture Jesus. Charles Manson. says, Charlie, don't chop. I just saw he's up for Mike parole. Tyson, yeah, yeah. Mike Tyson era. Here, let me get a picture of this and I'll tweet it out to all the Patriots who are kind enough so to that's your ins- Make sure you get my stallions. That's your inspiration, a mass murderer? Charlie Manson? No, I'm not saying I support Charles Manson. That's just the mind frame. Of yeah, this, he's got to be very careful with, with the Ozzie Guillen comments this week. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I love this one, man, too. Good, perfect. Another great endorsement. <laughs> Larry Nickel has picked you to win. That was that was something yeah. that caused a little rift between him and producer Joe. Yeah, you know. 
I don't know. I mean, Larry Nichols. Larry knows was... wrestling, yeah, yeah. Larry knows his wrestling. Are you still the St. Louis number one play baby? No, man. I mean, <laughs> who's number one now? No, I mean, I'll game? always be, man. But you know, I'm just chilling, man. I'm, I'm doing me. I, I How do you respond to this text? <laughs> this text message, picture message. I ain't, I ain't here to talk about the past. I ain't here. To talk about the past. I, don't, I don't know about. It. Will you have Mr. Mayweather? <laughs> Mr. Mr. Mayweather. Mayweather. Mr. Mayweather is going to be there. Is he going to walk I'm, out I'm to the ring try. with you holding an umbrella over your head? Because that, that was deemed by yeah, some um, of, our, M- of Mr. our black listeners to be racially insensitive. M- Mr. Mayweather. Well, that, that's, that was my valet that day, man. I mean, he got free <laughs> drinks. Um, yeah, he's, he's going to be there. He should be there. Mr. And he's Mayweather. going to escort you to the ring. Yeah. What yeah. is your ring music going to be? I'm not sure yet, man. That's a secret too. But I'm I not... heard it was N bombs in Paris. That that no, I don't know. Where'd you hear that from, my boy Justin? I gotta give out shout out to my boy Justin Roar in Granite City, by the way. Who is he? This is my main man. <laughs> what does a what does a fella have to do to become your main man? This is my homie. Your homie? Yeah. Are you nervous at all about potentially being humiliated by getting knocked out wearing headgear in 16-ounce gloves <laughs> in a circumstance that really is not is supposed to lead to a knockout? That would be incredibly embarrassing, yeah. wouldn't it? I'm not worried about it, man. You're not worried? You don't think you're going to get knocked out? No, or it doesn't I'm, concern you if you were to get knocked no. out? No, and I'm, I'm not nervous. I mean, in a good way, like in an excited way. You right. Know, I'm excited about it. And I, and I used to worry that you weren't going to show, but you have convinced me here over the last few weeks. Yeah. That you, that you're serious and you're into this because I see Jose. Yeah. When I work out, he works out before me. Exactly. And he tells me you're in there. Yeah. Big shout out to Jose, man. I appreciate everything he's done. For Jose me. Ponce, uh, Doug, who's a very good guy. Great sweat gym. That's where we get yeah. the sweat gym passes. Yeah. He's a great guy and he's got a great company. I know you never needed help with the ladies, but does it help when you walk into a, a club now and they know that you're a scrapper and that you're the kind I'm of sure, guy that might wear I'm leopard sure when skin I, when trunks? I, when I knock Joe out, I'm sure that you know that it really help. You know, I wouldn't mind having girl next door being here right now and give me a mouth hug but oh for <laughs> heaven's sakes <laughs> you know it is what it is that's pretty funny you know, Doug, would you got, mind that because I could probably get a couple I got my, assuming we can get them up from the old spaghetti I got, I got my sexy Bob Harper haircut going and you know oh can we see that you got a hat <laughs> no, I can't take off the hat man oh no come product. on I got no product in there dog man come on you can't get product, product. In images everything yep these days isn't and, Bob um, Harper the trainer on Biggest Loser yeah isn't yeah. he gay as the day is long yeah but he's still a good looking dude <laughs> Well, that, Still, like, man. that is a pretty gay exchange we just did right there. Hey, hey yeah. Harry, no, I ain't got nothing wrong with saying when a dude's good looking. Doug? I got nothing wrong with that. Is Doug good looking? He's a, he's a sophisticated man. He's got his stuff together. He's on the news. There he's you go, Charlie. I wouldn't say he's sexy as Steve Savard, but... Oh, well, I mean, come on. Now. <laughs> Nobody well, would. What's up is... Um, Joshua going to be singing the national anthem? Uh, well, if he if he's learned the lyrics, uh, then we can we can we can maybe arrange that. Would that be something that you would enjoy? Um, would that fire you up? No. Okay, <laughs> perfect. Uh, the downtown Whitey's window sneezer is the one who claimed. Now you don't have to take the call. I'll handle the call. Uh, downtown Whitey's window sneezer. You claim you saw Timberfake drinking on Sunday night, and he asked you whether or not he should begin <laughs> cycling on <laughs> to some performance enhancing drugs. I'm calling absolute BS on his conversation. Oh, no. He is now. calling BS on the conversation, uh, Timberfake. Go ahead and explain where you were and what took place, because these, these are very serious charges. Now, I, I already sent you, and I actually texted Charlie the picture, too, as well. Now, number two, we we're at Peppers in South City. Peppers in off, South City, Doug. You uh, used to bartend there. Gravoy Library there. Thank you. Um... And he uh, stood there with my friend, who actually is a fighter as well at Southside Fight Club. And he looked at us straight in the eyes and said, Should I roid up for this or what? <laughs> this dude's out of his mind, man. Roy. <laughs> she was he effing me. Listen, he, he, he stood there and he looked at him, and then we actually walked away like, Are you kidding me? It's two weeks before the fight. I wouldn't do you any good anyway. Number two, um, he continued to drink his beer as he asked us. We needed to roid up. This dude's out of his mind making Roy. Are we sure it wasn't O'Doul's? <laughs> you looked at Roy the picture, claims, Charlie. Man. <laughs> so, Roy to Timberfake, these are two allegations that go that fly, you know, flat in the face I, of what you've said. I got a lot of stalkers out there, man. <laughs> I, I got a lot of haters, a lot of stalkers. Um, I mean, you he could stood there in me. his layers of to be of clothes too. and stood there and asked. No, he's always angry. All right, downtown way. Thank you very much. I, I don't know that dude, man. He don't know me. Um. You know, he he's a Filipino job. He, 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 
Um, did I what? Did you run into a Filipino gentleman Sunday night I, at Peppers? Only, Were you I at like Peppers pe- on Sunday night? I'm not. I'm not here to talk about the past, man. That's <laughs> a yes. That's a I'm yes. Focusing like this weekend. I'm tra- I'm checking into the. Me and my entourage are checking in the Chase Park Plaza from every weekend here on out. I'm just gonna be <laughs> like, hey, uh, that's gonna that? cost you a fortune. <laughs> I'm not paying for it, man. I got my entourage. Who pays for it? My entourage. I got women's coming down from Chicago. I'm gonna be laid up. <laughs> it's women plural. Chica- hey, Chicago's my town. See? No, wait a second. Aren't you supposed to abstain from women? Uh, during yeah, the pre fight ritual? Yeah, but I'm going to do that probably maybe just like a week out. You know, a week out. What, just like have a threesome or something? What? Cancels <laughs> out. No, man, I'm just. I'm cool for now on that. But I'm so just, you, I'm you got girls into the from chase Chicago. For, girls from Chicago come down here and put you up at the chase? Well, is we're. That what you're something like that. My entourage is going to be there. We're just going to all relax and have a good time at the chase. That's how you four get ready seasons, for the Four Every seasons was sold out. I tried to get that. Oh, of but course. It was sold out. Well, cards opening day in Blues playoffs. I mean, yeah, they probably got you. Otherwise, you'd be at the Four Seasons, me and the rest of my heathens. So, Timber Fake is this thing is only a couple of weeks away, two weeks from Friday night. Uh, the place will be packed. You know, most people there want to see you get KO'd. But there is a faction of people who, as they watch Joe on the video, they hear Joe on the air, may want to see you pull the Buster Douglas, Mike Tyson of fights uh, at, at strip bars. What your thoughts on that? I got haters, I got lovers. Some of us are lovers, some of us are haters. You know, um, Doug? I don't know, man. <laughs> but let me you know, say- on my side, I'm, I'm the pride of St. Louis, man. He's the pride of what? Georgia? I mean, come on, man. But Georgia you guys bigger. know, if it's a neutral site, like NCAA tournament, mm-hmm. the underdog sticks around. Yeah. The longer they stay in the game, if it gets to the fourth round, the fifth round, could you see Timberfake starting to win the crowd over? Like Rocky IV. Correct. And mm-hmm. then address the crowd with an emotional if speech I can change, so endear him to the crowd. You can change. Yep. Everybody can change. Yep. How exactly are you training? You hitting the heavy bag, the speed bag, you jumping a lot of rope? Just straight Rocky Balboa, man. <laughs> straight Rocky straight Balboa. Eyes, tiger, you chasing chickens? Straight no retreat, no surrender, straight blood sport. Do you Everybody play a lot of like soundtracks yeah. from Rocky and blood sport and stuff? Training montage, bro. Yeah, yeah. Vince DiCola. Gets me pumped up. Do you ever go into a meat freezer and hit a side of beef? Nah. Do you wake up in the morning and eat a couple raw eggs? Nah, not that. Salmonella. Just a protein shake. And then just women's just book you, shape, women's book you hotels at uh, Chase Park Plaza. Yeah, that's gonna. Yeah. Are you worried that you've let it out where you're going to be this weekend? That you might have people. You said you do have I stalkers. Got security, man. Security and an entourage <laughs> for this fight. I had no idea. My business model must be screwed up. Because I'll be honest, with you, I couldn't afford that. <laughs> uh, but uh, one of the stormy combatants can. Any message for Joe, who is in there? You guys have agreed to be professional here uh, this morning, and, uh, and that, I'm, that's I'm starting. Just, I'm just ready to go to war. Let's get it on, man. I'm. A- do it. Do you hate producer Joe? I don't hate him. That's my. That's that's what I worry about. I but, don't think um, you hate him enough. I, I, I'm sure. Do you respect him? Um, I I don't know. I don't hate anybody. Do you respect um, him as an opponent? What was I gonna say about this? You know, I don't. Uh, no, like me and Joe used to be cool, man. Like back in the day, and then you know, I don't know. It is what it is, man. When we get in that ring, it's gonna be a war. I'm gonna be PO'd. I'm gonna be gamed. I'm gonna be ready. Could you see yourself? Let's say it goes five. I it's a split it sexy, decision. Man. Let's say it's a split decision. Could you see yourself, you guys, you know, hugging afterwards and just respecting the fight? And maybe... Yeah, because Evan and Joe did have that happen after um, they had the five I, I rounds. Don't, I don't know. I don't think so. Man. Joe, could you see that happening so. uh, where it, you and Evan had a, a somewhat friendly exchange? Kind of. It reminded me, Doug, and I know you said this too. It reminded me of uh, Triple H and Undertaker after they're about at WrestleMania. I never said that. Yeah, Joe. No, you could not see that happening. No, no matter what. No, because what if this gentleman knocks you out? Would you have mad respect for him? No. What if the Easter Bunny came and delivered Sunday sermon this past weekend? Doug, <laughs> no, I don't have the answer to that. <laughs> Who's the be... referee? Uh, no, who a special I guest? No. Let's get out! The same gentleman who refereed the other fight. I uh, uh, can't remember his name, and I apologize for that. But it's the same guy. Uh, Joe left. Joe left the microphone. Joe wants nothing to do with this. He's right. focused on the task at hand. I mean, he hates you. He really wants to put a hurting on you, sir. Bring it on, man. I'm going to put a heart on him. Let's go to war. I have heard from Jose that you have some heavy hands, that you can actually deliver a I shot. Thump, man. You I can what? Thump. I could thump. I could bang. You got a glass jaw? I don't know, man. I just, like, I wish I would have had, um, you know, if I could have even another month, you know, training, I'd be in tip-top shape and everything, but it is what it is, so, I mean. You've definitely put on some weight. Yeah. And I assume that's muscle? Yeah. Look at that, Doug. Yeah. It looks like you're sexy, working on man. a little bit of a gut. Do you shave your... Yeah, 
that stomach? <laughs> you don't shave your chest? I, I don't have shave. anything to shave. Oh. Joe, oh, isn't Joe, it true Joe, Joe has a landing strip. I always hear if yeah, you we, shave your chest. That in the, in the, in the, the, the cab it. ride? Doug. Oh. Cab <laughs> ride. That never came up in a cab ride. <laughs> that's, that, that's got like 20,000 20, views now. That's the most viewed inside. Oh, you're talking about Mickey Carroll and Rudy? Yeah, yeah, R.I.P. Yeah, yeah, and Joe. Yeah. And, and he showed Carole, his yeah. landing strip? No, he was talking about his landing strip. Oh. <laughs> Somebody was. Did, you, did you find that to be kind of gay? I don't I don't know. I don't, I don't have a problem with gay people, man. No, I know. I'm just asking. I mean, there's, you don't have to have a problem with gay people. No, but um, I mean, there aren't a whole lot of straight fathers in Chesterfield carving landing strips. Yeah, and that's their shrubs weird, is what my what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, I just, yeah. Have you been in a lot of fights in your life? I mean, um, the one thing that I was looking for more I, of that. You know, um, not like this. And When's no, the last I time? I don't get in fights. Um, probably in 2006, after the card, when the Cardinals were in the playoffs with the Mets. Um, you were up in Shea Stadium? Half, I, no, I drank about a half a bottle of Jack, and then... um. Somebody TP my friend's house and I went out. And <laughs> broke, what is this? I broke, Middle school? I broke. No, this was in 06. I went out and broke his nose and. While he was TPing the place? Yeah, I caught him doing it. So you tapped him on the shoulder with a toilet paper in his hand and he turned no, around and you popped him a good one. Him. I go, What are you doing in my friend's house, dude? And just... How old was the guy? Um, who, t- <laughs> who, t- who TP is a house past age? I don't know. He's sixteen. Drinking. He's probably about twenty one, twenty two. Twenty two year yeah. old in South St. Louis. <laughs> no, you this was in Edwardsville, actually. Oh, well, much nicer. Yeah. <laughs> and you, you decked him? Did you deck him? Broke his nose, man. Did you? Yeah. Look at that. So he's got, he's got heavy hair. Look, look Doug, check out the socks. You didn't get a chance man. to yet. Look at those. Those are really nice, Charlie. Those are. They uh, remind me of like a referee's socks. Yep. No, man. These are the little wheezy socks. Yeah, the little easies. Little wheezy. No, I know. Little wheezy have baby. Um, yeah, but I knew you would respect the stallions hat. Man. Yeah, that's a surprise. Yeah. I didn't even know they got a chance to make those. Yeah. It looks what? new too, and they made it what yeah. fifteen years ago. Yeah, got to keep it sexy and vintage. Man. Is that the kind of hats and shirts they give to like the third world countries of the team that doesn't win the Super Bowl <laughs> or the Mm-mm. national yeah, championship? Cool. What are you drinking there, Scotch? No coffee. Uh, is that sexy coffee? Sexy coffee. <laughs> Do a live read for sexy coffee. <laughs> All right, Timberfake, we got to go. Uh, Kelly Chase is with us. Joe Strauss is bitching about the segment on Twitter, even though it'll be listened to ten times more than his segment. And uh, Keith Kachuk coming up at nine o'clock, and then David Freeze. You know Freeze at all? Um, we actually dated. Whoa. What? Whoa. We, we actually. Um, That's whoa. our lead story. I'm right not there. dropping names, but me and him uh, messed around with the same girl before, and I don't think he dated her. But we've been with the same. We've been with the same few of the same girls. You come out on top when you're fighting David Freeze for a Philly? No, I'm a Freeze fan. That's my main man. But I mean, you you still get the girl if he's the only competition, no doubt. Um, it's not like he's know, a big I get, deal. I get the he's same level of girl he World does. World Series MVP. Timberfake gets the same level. I get, I get the same. I'm on the same level as getting girl wise. Cut it out. No, for real, man. I, He's got the money and all that, but that don't matter, man. That when you have a stallion's cap. Yeah. And you, and, and you might have a strap you know, around not, your neck. I'm not going to drop names, man, weeks. but he would know if I said it. He would know. All right. Well, that's, that's, that's something we'll ask him when he joins us from Cincinnati. That'll make sure it's the last time he'll ever be tell on him, the show. Tell him to try get some of that nasty chili up there, man. That upset his stomach. Uh, Skyland chili. Yeah. That's a great advice. All right. Thank you for stopping by the uh, the studio, Timberfake. Wow, what a wonderful segment, Doug. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And he keeps in. it sexy and vintage. It does. Well, uh, he's going to be a tough opponent for Joe. Uh, Timber Fake and producer series. Joe, two weeks from Friday night at PT's in Sauge, uh, and Jay Boyd and Ben Fournier, the former uh, Nordiques general manager. Frenchman. They are shooting uh, like an HBO 24-7 style video uh, of their training sessions leading up to this thing, and that will debut on InsideSTL.com next week. So, Timber Fake, thank you for coming in. We'll take hey, a commercial break. Me, we appreciate it. Kelly Chase joins us in the next segment talking blues and shacks, predators and wingy wingy. It's next on the ITDRoll.com morning after 590 the fan KFNS, KFNS.com.